Do you feel like you can't go anywhere without Big Brother watching you these days? Now, it seems like every day I come across another element of the surveillance state creeping into our lives. Well, another element of sweeping state surveillance is also emerging. It's called automatic license plate recognition, also known as tag readers. Right now, the government is using hidden cameras in cities across the country to watch you around the clock. Your everyday travels are being recorded and years of your activities are being stored in a colossal data storage center that can be mined to find out where you've been, where you're going, and just exactly what you've been doing. Now, just take a look at this example. This is a shopping mall in Connecticut with more than 3.1 million license plate scans were made by a group of 10 different police departments. I mean, this is how extensive this operation is. Now, just check out this operational video for the automated license plate recognition program from NDI Recognition Systems. A fixed or static system allows for specific areas of interest to be constantly monitored. Hits or matches against databases can be relayed to dispatch or directly to mobile law enforcement units to intercept the vehicle of interest. Constant monitoring is right, and the cameras can be stationary or mounted on poles, gates, bridges, hidden in traffic barrels, or disguised as taxi signs. Now, according to the ACLU, the system can catalog 3,000 license plates per minute. And of course, there's more information being collected than just license plates. I mean, think about it. This can mean your driver's licenses, your social security numbers, or anything else that you have on record. Now, a recent FOIA request already shows that the DHS is sharing this data with the National Insurance Crime Bureau, an organization made up of just about every insurance firm in the country. Awesome. More collusion between government and industry. Now, the Fourth Amendment says that we need probable cause for the government to be spying on us. But we all know that in this day and age, these rights are regularly violated. And we only find out about these things much later through back channels, FOIA requests, and long legal struggles. Now, if you aren't creeped out enough yet, check this out. Originally, this was developed by the UK to use against the IRA. Then it was deployed in Baghdad by the US. So basically, wartime spying technology to use against enemies and terrorists abroad is being applied right here against civilians in the United States. And all of this tracking of drivers every move is being done to law-abiding citizens without probable cause or even suspicion of having committed a crime. And of course, it's all happening without oversight or even public awareness of the program. Now, a lot of people will say, hey, I have nothing to hide, so why should I care that everywhere I drive is being tracked and data mined? That's not the point. This is a technology of social control. And at what privacy costs? Well, according to the government, there is no expectation of privacy in public anymore. And since your car is public, they can pretty much do anything that they want. I guess the real question here is, what else is going on that we don't know about? These government agencies have an insatiable urge to use surveillance technology to eventually track and record everyone on the planet, and they simply won't stop until they have everyone under their thumb of control. Look, I'm not gonna sit back and let every bastion of privacy I have given up to the state. The question is, will you?